Welcome back to our channel, Homestead Homestead. Today we are going to put quail eggs in that easy baby. Haley wanted to show what we did. We boiled some quail eggs. Wow, you've been eat this bowl was full this morning. We boiled quail eggs for a snack for the kids, and she's been peeling them and munching on them today. These are not the ones she's going to be hatching. So um, these were too old to hatch. So we are going to eat. So mom decided to boil them. Blah, 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 blah. Hard to peel because some of these and um, they're more hard to peel a little. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Probably the fresher ones are harder to peel. That's how it is for chicken eggs. I'm just gonna put it in here. So, this one's yours, okay, buddy? Do you like these eggs? Those are chicks, not little things. It's so hard to feel. Bless you. Any shell on there? Maybe rinse it off to make sure there's no shell. Get down and try it, Emmett. It's kind of big for its mouth. <laughs> Let's bite it in half. Bite it. Bite it. Bite, bite, bite. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you like it? It's good, huh? Timmy. Yummy. <laughs> oh, he doesn't like the yellow part. <laughs> <laughs> it's the third day since our ladybugs hatched and I found one of the larvae it took me a minute but look how big they are getting so this is day three of ladybug larva how they will look definitely quadrupled in size The ladybug larva hatched four days ago and every morning I try and find one of them to show the size comparison, how fast they're growing. It's a little dark in here so let me try and add some brightness on my camera here. Focus. There we go. 
So you can see how much bigger it is. I'm seeing drastic improvements on the plants. And like I said, every day I try and find just one of them. <laughs> we released, there were 16 eggs originally. So 16 of these little tiny larvae were released. And they're a little hard to find, but I try and find one every morning. So I'm trying to keep track of them. This has been a pretty cool project. I'm thrilled there's more eggs. I'm thrilled that they're eating the aphids so quickly. There's still a lot of aphids on this plant, but let me show you the top leaves where there was a lot of this sticky the aphids leave this sticky sap stuff. And that's what ants are really attracted to. I don't have ants in here, thank goodness. But outside, the reason ant, ants farm aphids. And so you usually have aphids and ants together. That's usually a pest that you'll have in your garden together. And you don't want the aphids, so you don't want the ants. So anyway, if you look at one of these lower leaves, it's they are glistening. Let me just show you this other plant over here that hasn't been really worked on by the ladybugs yet. See how sticky they are. That is from aphids. This plant looked like that yesterday and the day before and you know so on and so forth. But today I've noticed a drastic improvement in that sticky substance. I still see the aphids, but that sticky substance is slowly and it's starting at the top. The top is cleaned off a lot more. I noticed three or four of the ladybugs, the adult ladybugs on this plant yesterday working on it. So the adult ladybugs take a while to get going in the morning. It was very dark in here. The sun is barely coming up. I don't know if you can see. The sun is barely coming up. But anyway, I just wanted to show the improvements on this plant on this video. This is like a couple days video of a, a few things, a few small projects that we're doing. I'm kind of compressing them into one video because this will be, I will have this video up tomorrow because Haley is on December 1st. Haley is going to start incubating her quail eggs. But I thought I could show improvement on the plants on the same video because it would be a short little update about the plants and the chickens with getting their feathers fixed. So. Like I said, I see the adult ladybugs on the tops of the plants, working on the tops of the plants. And the ladybug larvae I'm finding on the bottoms of the leaves. I actually think I see one right here on that, that leaf right there. I'm pretty sure that's one. Yep. They are getting so much bigger, so it's a little easier to find them. So that's really, really cool. That's not focusing, but you can see that black, long larva right there. So they are doing a very good job. That's our ladybug update. The eggs on this netting have not hatched yet. There's two clusters on there. One, maybe I can see it better from up here. One and the other one's right over here. It's kind of hard to see through the netting, but anyway, they haven't hatched, so we've been watching those clusters for four days, and I'm so happy I found that one cluster on the side of the habanero pot. They just laid them right on the side of this pot here, and that one was heavily infested with aphids, so it looks like the ladybugs choose to lay their eggs next to aphid colonies, which is really interesting. So, but yeah, even from back here I can see that plant isn't dripping with aphid goo anymore. It, it looks so much better. And then all of these plants up in the window. I did trim this Paseo Bajio pepper yesterday. I didn't do it on camera, but I did trim it. And I think it looks a lot better, and I think it's going to make a comeback. I want to put it in some better soil. This is just the soil from outside. And this one's doing really good. 
So, yeah, some good, good updates for you. I will show you one pepper I pruned that I don't think is going to come back from pruning. Is this cayenne pepper right here. Also, this ancho pepper is not doing, doesn't look great. So I pruned it back to one little stick even farther. I don't think it's going to make a comeback, but we'll see. Like I said, I just don't see any green leaf or any foliage coming out. So those two might be goners, but all the others are looking really, really good. Day five of the ladybug larva. You can see how much bigger it's getting faster. There should be 16 of these guys. Like I said, I just try and find one every morning to show the progress. I can't wait to show the pupa stage. It's also very neat. Doing a great job of cleaning up these pepper plants from the aphids. This one's looking a lot better as you can see. And I'm just super happy with all of these ladybugs in here. They seem to be leaving each other alone, so that's good. Oh, it went behind the leaf. Anyway, the adults and the babies seem to be living fine side by side, not trying to kill each other or something like that. The eggs over here on this netting hatched last night and this morning, and there's a few. Really hard to see them. Still clinging to their egg cluster. Here they are from the top view. Anyway, those eggs hatched and should be working on this serrano pepper. And I'm seeing if this netting helps keep the ladybugs in there and the ladybug larva focused on their plant. These ones out here seem to be staying on the plants I put them on. I put them on this plant and this plant. And I am always able to find at least one. A little update on our chickens. Two of the chickens are gonna be graduating feather fixer school. <laughs> Don't know what to call it. These two, their feathers look amazing. I am gonna put them back in with the other chickens. These other guys need a little time. I guess I should say these other girls, their hens. This one's feathers look good, but she is still getting ready to molt on the top. So I'm gonna leave her in here with this feather fixer food. I'll do all this tonight when they don't see me coming because it's nighttime. <laughs> so yeah, pretty excited. These two little bantam chickens are gonna get to go back to the regular side.
a last day. So what does that mean? Starting the incubator. Okay. Well, we already started the incubator. We're just putting the eggs in the incubator. Nope. None? She was just in there. Let's lift up this. Oh, oh. oh look. Oh. Careful. Don't want them to get smushed. I guess they didn't want to lay their eggs in there today. Let me get him carefully for you. That means we're starting mm -hmm. another one. We have one and then two. That means we're starting another one. Oh, I see what you mean. Remember, look really far down in this. These guys like to lay their eggs under the hay. All right. I don't but see one. Good. None in this mm -hmm. side today. There hey. must only be one female in there. Okay. I don't want them to escape. They're looking at me. All right. Are we ready? Go. We set up the incubator. These two. I'm going to go, go inside and put them in. Are we just going to put these ones just right in the incubator? Sure. That's a good idea. You can organize your eggs however you want. I was thinking we'll put that on the floor. Okay. Or should we put it up here? On the floor so it's easier for me to reach it instead of up there. Okay. So you go ahead and set it down on the floor. And then I will insert it into the incubator. Step on this. Okay. Twenty-eight, 
30, 31, and we would have 32 eggs if that one didn't break when Emmett um, was taking the eggs for a stroller. Yep, that's true. Explain. So, um, we are gonna go ahead and put the eggs in the incubator right there. It looks sort of big <laughs> on the camera. Mm -hmm. Nervous about your eggies. <laughs> okay, it's gonna go right there. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Really quick. Oh, do you want to stand on that stool so you can see better? And the lid is on. All right, so we are going to add the teeny tiniest bit of water because we're at 23% humidity. And we want that humidity to be at 55%. So we use a turkey baster. Just got this one on sale at Safeway. We got a new one. <laughs> I know a silly way to use a turkey baster, but it's so easy. You just pull up a little water into there, and really, you don't need that much. We'll probably just do one-fourth of a cup. So we don't want to get the eggs wet. <laughs> this baster is weird. Okay. So we've got water down in the bottom there. So we're not going to shoot it up. We're going to shoot it nice and gently and just give it a little squeeze. Don't need very much. Maybe I probably just put in about a tablespoon, not that much at all, and we'll watch. And once it gets to 55%, we won't add any more water. Now I'm going to come up. We were worried for a minute because this has been sitting right at 100, and now it's at 101. So this is set to 98.5. I'm going to set it to 98.0 degrees Fahrenheit and tomorrow I'm going to purchase I can't get one tonight it's too late at night but um, I mean it's not that late at night but I'm not going back into town so I can't purchase another one of these right now so I'm gonna purchase a new one tomorrow and hopefully it will be okay see now it's at 98 point uh, this is the most nerve-wracking part anyway our humidity is good it's going up 41% we're gonna go ahead and plug in the egg turner Haley Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains, and the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strains. It's December 1st. And we got this awesome calendar from a special friend who we don't know who sent this, but we wanted to share every day that we do, right? So today, go Hannah is going to start us off. Ready? Now, what? tell us what you just did, Hannah, with that little white thing. I put Nettie on the board. Yeah, 
but we have to pull these cute little circles off and it has um, Velcro under there so the, that keeps it nice and clean so your little people will stick up there better okay Levi is gonna read to us tonight the scripture that I found to go with Mary and in the sixth month the angel Gabriel yeah, was sent from God unto the city of Galilee, named oh, it's Nazareth. Galilee, buddy. Galilee. Yep. Named Nazareth. Very good. To a virgin exposed to a man whose name was Joseph, the house of David. A virgin exposed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel come in unto her and said, Hail thou that art highly favored. The <coughs> Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salvation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary. For thou hast, let, hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt convince in the conceive. womb, conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. Jesus. What do you guys think about it? It's awesome. Oh, Thank you, awesome. whoever sent it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Please like and subscribe if you like this video.